I got a 2012 Mini Cooper here with the non-turbo motor and uh, I don't know about 500 miles ago the engine light came on and it's an converter under convert error 420 PO 420 I've tried just about everything first of all the temperatures on the catalytic converter are correct it's not plugged it's it's uh, about 375 degrees at the inlet and about 585 degrees at the outlet on the catalytic converter. The uh, uh, upstream O2 sensor shows good values. The lower O2 sensor shows good values. I've sprayed uh, all kinds of cleaner in there. I put catalytic converter cleaner into the gas tank and so forth. Did all that. I even um, sprayed uh, lacquer thinner into into the intake to hope clean it out that's not working nothing's working so at this point i believe the catalytic converter is probably bad but there could be some fouling on it so here's what i'm going to do i took it out i'm going to run my bore scope down there my endoscope take a look around just to see and then i'm going to use my power washer through the hole where the uh where the uh, oxygen sensor goes and while it's running, I'm going to blow high-pressure water through there and uh, hopefully disturb the living snot out of everything that's on the uh, the catalyst media and maybe declog it or break off the soot or carbon or whatever is causing the catalytic converter not to do its job. So let's uh, do some bore scope. Okay, I took the exhaust off at the lower uh, catalytic converter as it comes down from the exhaust manifold. Now I'm going to send my probe up there and take a look around. Okay, it's actually important you have the car running so that water pressure doesn't go back up into the cylinders and flood the cylinder, which later on, if you tried to start it, would damage the head. It would be overpressurized. So we're gonna start it up, run it, let it roll. Fuck. Okay, now I've moved to the bottom, and I've got my power washer, and I'm going to spray from the bottom, but this time I'm not going to have the engine running because gravity is going to help feed the uh, fluid out, and the plate up there and so forth will keep it from blowing into the cylinders, but I'm just going to do it in short bursts. Again, hopefully I'm creating enough mischief in there with the water pressure that it uh, cleans off the plates. It's just a shot. Hey, what could go wrong? So one of the things I'll check for is uh, water in the crankcase. I'll just check the oil. And that could have only happened if uh, it was off, water flowed up the exhaust manifold to an exhaust valve that was opened and down into the cylinder, and it was in there long enough to drain past the rings. Very, very unlikely. So, But it's a safety check you should do.